Hi everyone, thanks for coming back and checking out another video. So I jumped on the bandwagon and bought some of these asses from eBay. This particular one came with barrels but with gin counter milling. So I've whipped the barrels out apart from one and I've stuck in five gins. Uh, the barrel is in chamber three which doesn't have counter milling anyway. So that's the bidding on the key. I'd say it's pretty average bidding, it's not too extreme. The key worked perfectly. I've already taken the tailpiece off the lock to save time when I'm gutting it. So I'm going to use two tension wrenches. It just helps with the float picking. It sits nice and snug in the keyway. Now let's have a go at picking it and see how we do. Okay, so we've dropped into quite a deep falset there, which probably means we're sat on the gins now. So it literally is a case of working through the pins. You might have to go through them several times and try and get them out of the counter milling. Now, you have to rock the tension wrench backwards and forwards. Some will drop. So you've got to go back to the ones that have dropped. there we go we've got it open that was quite quick it is worth noting though I have done this lock quite a few times so I do really know what to expect from it so we'll lock it back up again and we'll gut it and I'll show you what's inside That's, excuse me my camera skills aren't the best so I've already taken the tailpiece off the lock. I'll pop a shim in just to be on the safe side. Okay. Should we dump the side bar. Now I have left some master wafers in this just for the purposes of having a working key. Now, I know some people may say that makes it a little bit less difficult, which it probably does. So, let's get the key pin sorted. Should have perhaps had some tweezers ready. Let's go and have a look in the lock itself. So we have gin in one. I'll show you these pins in a second once I've got them all out. So gins in one and two, and that's a barrel in three. A gin in five, and a gin in six. close up of the pins. And 
there we go that's it thanks very much for watching apologies for my poor video skills i haven't done this for a while cheers sorry i should have added there is the core with the counter milling in one two four five and six cheers